Hey everybody, this is Tyra Woodruff with Tyra Vapes making a vape vlog for you today. I've been working really, really hard and I've got to get back to work. I want to create all these videos, all these reviews. So I figured, you know, I'm going to have a little vape vlog here and I'm going to go over a couple of the things that I have been vaping this week. Let me have a taste of this. This is the first time I've changed my juice in a few days. I'll get into that in a minute. But I'm going to tell you what I'm vaping here right now. This came in a care package from one of my awesome, awesome, awesome friends. And if you're here watching, you know who you are. I don't want to um, broadcast your name, you know, in case everyone starts messaging you, asking you for juices. But um, one of my friends here, she sent me Omega Monkey Music. Ha! Huh. Now, my least favorite vape liquid that I've ever vaped is an Omega brand, which is crazy, right? Let me go ahead and pull up a website here. Omega vape. I got the heat on today for a little bit, and it's like, ugh. it's a little bit, um, now it's getting a little hot, and I just had to turn it down a little bit there. Okay, I'm just going to go to a random website and finding out a Google search so I can tell you a little bit about this vape now. I'm surprised. I couldn't find the name of it to even look it up. Um, so I just smelt it and loved the way it smelt. And uh, just waiting for Google here. I think I pressed that I'm under 18. What on earth? Why do people always have to change it? Like, which side the 18-year-old symbol is? Oh, my goodness. Anyway, so I went ahead, and uh, because this is a 12 milligram, I decided I was going to vape it today because I'm vaping the same liquid for days straight on both of my my um, devices. So, fantastic. Okay, let's just go to another website. We'll go to the second choice on Google. And this here is absolutely wonderful. It's called Monkey Music. It's a kind of desserty or bakery style. And let me, I want to tell you something interesting. That's why I'm trying to pull up the freaking stinking description. I'm 18, okay. Don't you wish you were 18? <laughs> it's what I smelt when I smelt it was a caramel, okay? so. Here I am on local vapes website. Looking at the description, it's a, a caramel banana bread. Did you hear that? Banana bread? I have a couple of vape liquids with banana in it that's killing me. I can't even vape them. Um, I can't smell them. So I've been letting them... I have a... A wonderful, wonderful vape because I have actually vaped it and I can tell you from the quality of the vapor and the quality of the juice. However, I can't get over the banana flavor. For me, so far, it, it um, and the other two brands that I have that have banana in it, I smell nail polish, nail lacquer. I taste it, nail polish and nail lacquer. I am blown away. This has none of that lacquer at all. And I'm really excited about that. I gotta tell you, I can taste nut. Nut on the, out the nose, definitely. Caramel right on the tongue, sits there like a little puddle of unsweetened caramel, it's not too sweet. I don't taste any banana. I don't smell any banana. So I'm wondering if I just let those things vape or steep just a little bit longer, even though one's been almost a month and a half, maybe I can actually vape a banana vape because, man, the one I got is like uh, top shelf kind of stuff, and I would love to vape it. I just didn't realize that I had a problem with banana. Anyway, 
So I've been vaping that today. Omega Monkey Music. If you like caramelly um, bakery style vape, you're going to love that. Next, this is amazing. I'm going to come back to you so I can see you. This is amazing. Let me get the bottle for you. What I did is I took one of my 30 milliliter bottles. I used my left hand for some stupid reason. Um, and you can't see the level though. That's one thing. I made that mistake. You know that one thing that you hate about juices? You can't see the level. Anyway, we know it's empty when uh, we go to get some in the dripper and there's nothing there. So um, I got it a mess right now because I mixed it last night about 3 o'clock in the morning before I went to bed because I ran out of the first batch. Now, this is all Vape Wild. Um, flavors you're supposed to you're supposed to steep vape wild for two weeks I couldn't wait <laughs> of course and what I did is I decided I wanted to try to replicate a carnage I see a lot of people vaping carnage and I gotta tell you I can't wait to buy some of that but in the meantime this, this is definitely going to help me understand a little bit more of what that flavor is going to be like so that I won't feel like I'm buying something that I don't think I'll vape because I'm pretty sure I will. So what I did is I looked up what carnage is and I watched a couple of videos on what people thought and what they tasted. So I said, let me see if I can try to put together something that will give me the idea so that I can go ahead and purchase some carnage, right? So I went to Vape Wild and I ordered two flavors here. As you can see, I ordered Swedish candy, which is Swedish fish. Okay. Um, and then I ordered, I just didn't want to order their, their red rope candy because it didn't have the reviews I wanted to see. Whatever. It probably would have been just fine. Um, and then I ordered strawberries and cream, and what I did is I took this bottle, I put half of this bottle is 15 milligrams is, or milliliters, how does that go? I don't even know. Half of this bottle is the Swedish fish. The second quarter is a quarter of the strawberries and cream, and then the last quarter is VG. I added VG to it. Let me show you how it vapes. This is a favorite throughout the whole house. We're fighting over the bottle. I already had to make a new one. And uh, let me give it to you, baby. It's absolutely heavenly. The VG takes down, I bought those both, both those uh, flavors with an extra flavor shot in there. Um, from Vape Wild, because um, I knew I was probably going to experiment a little and make some of my own and add some VG. I like a lot of VG. I love vapor. Not I, you know, I'm not telling you that I don't like to taste something delicious. I'm a big fan of the vapor. And this is absolutely wonderful. The thing I want to warn you right now, when you're mixing up flavors, to make sure that you shake it really well before you add it. And any kind of steep time you can give it, give it. Especially when the company like Vapewile says, right in the box, give us two weeks, please. And uh, we'll make you happy. And sure enough, you know, I, I'm sure. I, I'm, I'm going to have to place another order so I can just let this sit. And just let them sit because I can't wait to try them fully steeped. Let me show you what came in the mail from Vape Wild. All right, so what I ordered as well, because I'm looking for an all-day vape, right? You know that, right, guys? I got Stars and Stripes. I figured if this was too fruity, I could add a little cream to it with the strawberries and cream. Right? Make me happy. I haven't touched it yet. Um, they sent also Honeydew Melon. They also sent a a banshee, which is a banana flavor. This is these are samples. They sent me full 10, 10 milliliter size samples. Let me smell the banshee. I'm sure banshee's a banana. I don't smell any 
nail lacquer. I have no idea what that's about. It's got to be the type of flavor. It, come, it came with this. And right here it says, open your goodies, shake your bottles every day, store in a cool place, wait two weeks, and then vape and enjoy. Okay. They sent me these little tubes. Makes life really nice because I was using a medicine dropper. Actually, I need to wash that out. That's from last night. I mean, making that. And um, I also got cotton candy. What the fuck? That's delicious. So those are all unsteeped, out the box, can't wait, impatient. Love Vape Wild, guys. I tell you what, I freaking love them. So that's my little homemade blend. So just be sure that when you're doing that, you know, before you put it in, I mean, I do a lot of squirting so that the, the dropper is producing. Oh, so look at me making a mess again. I guess I got it filled really, really tall. It's perfect taste. And um, I just am careful that my mixture is as similar as possible without being scientific so that I can enjoy this awesome flavor and everyone in the house is flipping out about it. So if you want to try what I am vaping all day every day in both of my devices, today I decided to change it up because I wanted to try some of the stuff my friend sent me and I'm loving that. But if you want to try this, you need to go to Vape Wild and get the Swedish candy uh, strawberries and cream and you go ahead and do um, a third strawberries and cream and two thirds Swedish candy if you want if you have some you know pharmaceutical grade vegetable glycerin organic glycerin vegetable glycerin then you can add that and I would just match whatever you added for the strawberries and cream for that that's up to you that's really up to you you don't need it I ordered a 3565 blend higher VG with an extra flavor shot. That's how I ordered it. And I just mixed it together in a 30 milliliter bottle. It's amazing. It's amazing. Let me see if I can. Charlie's talking. What are you saying? You want to be on a video with me? Come on up. Meet the people. Meet the people. Come on. You're being shy lately. Come on. Up. Charles, come on. Up. Up. They want to meet you. They hear you. This dog gives me shit about being on videos. But he's telling me stories. Is it dinner time? It's an hour away from dinner time. What's the matter for you? You really want to be on TV. Mm -hmm. I know you do. Let's see if I can catch it. Say hi, Charlie. Oh, yeah. That's Charlie. Oh yeah. See, you got to see him. He didn't even know I was videotaping. So anyway, I'm feeling really good. I've got my little setup over here, some juices in there, and my replacement tanks for my lanis. And I just got to go on, you know. Sample box. We finished this in, well, let me tell you something. I didn't think I'd like a custard, but this shit right here, this uh, avenue from Mar Hood, Hood to yours, yes, yes, love it. Can't even handle it. I can't even handle how delicious that smells. So I will not shy away from custards in the future. Maybe I'll find one I hate. I don't know. That is really great. I really like that. I've been playing with the cactus juice, which is a flavor here from... Geyser e-liquids or cyber e-liquids uh, and this is cactus cooler that I also have uh, you can see I've had some of that and I've also have had some of the cactus juice shit and you know I can't tell you what flavor it is but it's good it's uh, got a little bit of a punch a little bit of a throat hit because it's so sweet but um that's what's going on. Next thing. Oh, God, I don't want this video to be really long because I want you to be able to get on your way because I got a lot of work to do. Freaking lot of work to do. Last night I did something I've never done before and I'll never do again. However, I want to give a tribute to this cheap. I, I purchased this cheap 
soda charger from eFest. I accidentally left it plugged in all night with batteries in it. Two 18650s. I was doing something and I went to go plug something in over here. And I look over in the corner. I had it on top of CDs like that. And the fucker was still there. The batteries were fully charged and this was cold. There was no heat at all. Whatever safety precautions are inside this charger, I really am very excited about that. That's all I gotta say. That could have been awful. Never charge your batteries overnight. Okay? Make sure that you purchase something that's got some protections in it. Uh, this one, let me look it up while we're here. This way you know all about it. Uh, it's a soda. E-Fest. Charger. See if that, you know, there were any safety features when I bought it. I can't remember. I like that it charged several different. Okay. So this this turns into a charger review too. How, how do you like that? I am of legal smoking age. The capable of charging two batteries simultaneously. Each two battery slots monitors and charges independently. Over voltage, over discharging, short circuit, and reverse polarity protection. That's what I wanted because I'm so scared of having, you know, I'm just brand new. So having flat top batteries is like, oh my God, I'm so afraid. You know, and plus I got to put spectacles on to look at anything. So those little pluses and, and minuses, I want to be sure to have that. Adjust to rapid charger or normal charger. Holy shit, didn't even know that did that. I do know that there's a switch in the back. Let's go ahead and show you. Switches in the back. So let me see. I have no idea what that means. A oh, 1 amp or 0.6 amp. I would take it that means it's the rapid charge. Uh, charger for 3.7 volt rechargeables. Lion batteries, blah, blah, blah. AC input power, 100 to 240 volts, 50 over 60 hertz. It's just crazy. It's crazy that that didn't get hot for me. I'm really happy it didn't because then we would not be talking right now about this video. I can't remember. I think I can't remember where I bought it. I like to tell you where I bought it from so that you can buy it from the same place. Let me check my Gmail here. I could have got it from IMR because that's where I got the batteries. I am our batteries. Good thing I saved all my receipts, eh? Your order has been shipped. Your order confirmation. I ordered from IMR the EFS Soda dual channel battery charger. I got it for $10. Um, the link is imrbatteries.com. I'll make sure that that is in the link description as well. You know, I only have one device that takes standalone batteries, so I wanted to be sure that I was purchasing from a reputable dealer, and I did, and also kept in my budget, because my budget's kind of small, you know? I don't got the budget hands like some. It's okay, because that'll change. I'll get better budget. But why spend more if you don't have to, right? When you're getting the same quality stuff. Why not get it cheaper and spend your money on something else? Like new mods and stuff. So yes, IMR batteries go there and just go to battery chargers. And they've got a few different um, options there. All of them are very affordable. I really like the soda. I wanted to get the Nightcore. I just didn't have 20 bucks at the time and I knew my device was on the way. So I got the EFS soda. I figured, hey, I, I bought EFS batteries. It's probably going to work out good. Let's see what it said on this website. If I can get it to go, it's. Uh, I'm going to have to give it a review over here. One product review, I'm going to give it a review. Two independent charging channels, protection short circuit. Yeah, I liked the protection. And guess what? It really exists. 
So that's that, guys. I'm going to get back to work. I got a lot to do today. I got a lot to do. I've been blogging my little brains out. I just wanted to let you know that I love you all very much. Thumbs up on the Av from our hood to yours. Vanilla custard came in the sample box. Thumbs up on the Omega Monkey Juice or Monkey Music. And toes and thumbs up on my homemade concoction from Vape Wild. I will leave that in the description as well. I'll tell you exactly how I made that and um, the link to Vape Wild or whatever. I'm not an affiliate with any of it. So, well, I'm not going to say that. I don't give a shit. If you're upset, if I'm an affiliate or something, whatever. You know, that's all. I'm only offering where I'm purchasing because, and I pick things based on reviews, based on whether or not they're reputable and are going to sell you authentic things. I mean, if you want to buy something that's cloned, you need to know that. You don't want to ever buy something authentic and then get it and find out it's cloned, ever. So that's why I picked IMR battery. That's why I love Vape Wild. That's why I love everything going on this week in my vape life. I'm going to chuck a cloud at you. And then I'm going to say goodbye because I got to go to work. And it's too early for me to be vaping this heavy anyway. 21 minutes. What? <laughs>